Evolution of bitch, take one. Mark. <laughs> What up, Biatch? I'm Aaron Paul, and today we're going to explore the evolution of Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad by breaking down the most important bitches in the show. This first bitch comes from season one, episode two. Let's take a look. What up, Biatch? What up, Biatch? Yeah, how's about I send over my psycho bitch wife? Psycho bitch wife. You know, powerful stuff. You know, I think this bitch shows us Jesse at its most innocent before the, the chaos has truly begun, even though he's melting a body in acid. Um, you know, you can really hear it in the two-syllable biatch. He's just, you know, he's totally naive. Looking back on it, he's showing us what he is, you know, what he's going to lose. You know, our next bitch comes from season two, episode six. Let's take a look. Where's my money? Where's my... Where's my money, bitch? Huh, bitch? Where's my money, bitch? Oh, that's good. Where's my money? Where's my money, bitch? Bitch, where's my money? Come on. Where's my money, bitch? You know, seriously, that is the question of the day. Where is my money, bitch? I actually remember that day so well. Here I approached Bitch as a way for Jesse to, you know, puff himself up like a, uh, like a puffer fish, a, uh, a puffer bitch. He's still a bit naive here and it was important that I show his, you know, sort of vulnerability. Yeah, you know, I, I really feel uh, he could find some strength in, in the different ways he could uh, say Bitch because um, there's really, truly so many different ways, different meanings of bitch. You know, the next bitch is actually several bitches. Um, it's from season three, episodes five, six, and seven. Take a look. Plural, bitch. He's trying to stop me, bitch. <laughs> you know, I call this the, uh, the bitch pause suite. You know, three episodes in a row where I say bitch with a huge pause before it. As an actor, I saw these three bitches um, as representing Jesse's point of, of no return. You know, first up, an eye contact bitch at low volume. Um, note the pause before he says it. Uh, you know, I wanted to show, show him, you know, think about it and decide to call Mr. White a bitch to reclaim some power in the relationship as one does. You know, Heisenberg needs to be knocked down a couple pegs. You know what I mean? The easy way to do that is to call him a bitch. We really see it with this bitch. I mean, Jesse can never unsee him as his dorky chemistry teacher. He leaves this exchange feeling, you know, kind of feeling like a, like a king. This is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed, bitch. Mm. It's a mic drop, bitch. Very next episode, this bitch is Jesse really feeling himself. Now remember, he's just made his own blue sky meth without Walt. He can do it without him. It's Jesse's last innocent bitch, and Dean really got a kick out of that one, but after this, things, you know, changed for Jesse. You're my free pass, bitch. You know, with that pause, the bitch pause arc comes to an end. You know, Hank has beaten Jesse badly, and even though he's been beaten physically and spiritually, I felt it was vital to convey Jesse's resilience here. You know, that's his real superpower. So I pulled out the biggest pre-bitch pause of them all, and it just tortures Mr. White. And I wanted to say bitch to say, you know, like, fuck you. you know, I think it's the most powerful bitch of the show, to be honest. Um, the first bitch of a new damaged Jesse Pinkman. So next up, season four, episode seven. I made you my bitch. Yeah, see, now that bitch was one of the hardest bitches I, uh, I ever had to do on the show. Season four was crazy to film because Jesse uh, is just drowning um, in pain thrust into absolute anguish. This scene, Jesse uh, crash landing on rock bottom and trying to use bitch as a cushion to pad the fall. Usually bitch is very comforting for, for Jesse, but this just, 
emotionally just kind of threw up out of his body. Um, this was the most challenging scenes for me um, to shoot deeply emotional, dark. You, know, you can feel genuine wickedness radiating off of Jesse and um, he's lost. The bitch mana, you know, that once empowered him has now overtaken him completely. So next up is the final bitch of this series, season five, episode 15. <laughs> This scene was so uh, surreal to film. Uh, Jesse says it as he frees himself from his own imprisonment, literally and metaphorically. Even though it's quiet, um, almost inaudibly grumbled, it's the most triumphant bitch of the show. You know, it's Jesse saving himself, so I wanted this to deliver this bitch-like vacation of, you know, Jesse's inner sort of his inner strength. Where will the evolution of bitch take us when we reconnect with Jesse Pinkman and Al Camino? <laughs>